Okay, now that Brian's shown you what's involved in inspecting the old parts, we're going to go through and add up how much it costs to actually put the gearbox together. This is a rebuild kit. Your rebuild kit will probably cost you anywhere between $450 and $600, $650, depending on what model. Petrol, diesel, full-time four-wheel drive, part-time four-wheel drive. And the gearbox may even have three, three part rings, first, second and third. Just a second gear synchro in a three-piece ring can cost $450. So you're probably looking at at a quality rebuild, probably anywhere between $800 to $1,000 for a full set of synchros. So as you can see, the cost can really add up. Here you can see we've got NSK and Koyo. The other two are Nachi and NTN, Japanese bearings. You wouldn't expect to pay anything less than $500 for a good quality rebuild kit. Depending on what model you have, can cost up to $800. So always look for the quality bearings. You really don't want to be stuck in the middle of the back of Burke when you've used low quality bearings for your gearbox rebuild. Okay, now when we add this up, you're going to be looking at least $500 for your kit and up to $1,000, even if it's only $800 for your synchro set. Already you're at $1,500 and you haven't paid anyone to put it all back together yet. At 360 Gearboxes, we've seen gearboxes supposedly reconditioned for the same price as just these components alone. So we have to ask ourselves why. If we take into account, aside from rent, overheads, electricity, solvents, paints and things like that, this gearbox has been disassembled, hot washed, fully inspected and then it gets put back together and looks like this. So you have to ask yourself, at that price, is it really a quality rebuild? We have two gearboxes here that look fantastic on the outside. This is the 80 series, and this is a pre-2004 patrol gearbox. They look great on the outside, but it's what's in them that matters. So if you're buying a patrol gearbox pre-2004, ask your rebuilder, does it have the modified main shaft fifth gear upgrade? Any quality rebuild should have this as an absolute minimum, as well as, of course, all bearings and seals. If you're getting your own gearbox rebuilt, actually ask for your old parts back when you collect your gearbox and ask the rebuilder to go through with you and show you what went wrong, why the parts were replaced and how you can prevent that wear or tear occurring in the future. Always ask your rebuilder what sort of warranty they are going to offer. If they're using quality products and their workmanship's top notch, we recommend that you shouldn't settle for anything less than a 12 month warranty on your gearbox. So just remember, quality costs money. If it's too good to be true, it always is. I'm Brian from 360 Gearbox and Jackie. <laughs> Don't leave me out. We're Brian and Jackie from 360 Gearbox and Diffs. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Stop tapping up and down. <laughs> I'm Brian from 360 Gearbox and Jackie. <laughs> we are Brian and Jackie from 360 Gearbox and Diffs. Thanks for listening. Cool. Oh.